Well, I leave in Colorado for about a week, uh, or I leave to Colorado in about a week. So I'm kind of running errands. Uh, the pups are gonna be staying with my mom's house. So I need to run to like Costco, get the dog some food. I am starting off the day hitting two thrift stores though. Um, but today's gonna just kind of be running around. Uh, I'm going to two thrift stores, then I need to go to Costco, then I need to go to Target. Then I'm gonna go and check um, some off-white sunglasses for the trip. So it's kind of just being all over. I'm not sure what this video, it's not gonna be a trip to the thrift. Like I am going thrifting, but it's gonna be more than that. It's just gonna be a daily vlog. Uh, I'm really trying to convert my videos, not only to like, the whole video is just about thrifting. It's just kind of like a day in the life vlog because at the end of the day, I go thrifting a lot, but I also do other stuff. Um, like for example, I'm, I'm looking for off-white sunglasses. So it's like, I don't want to make a video just like, oh, buying off-white sunglasses. So I'm just going to kind of do a day in the life video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to Colorado in a week. So I kind of just want to get everything that I need now. So that way I'm not rushing at the end. Uh, you know, I just need essentials, socks, all that and good stuff. Warm clothes because obviously Colorado right now is about 30 degrees. And right now in Florida, it is 87. So a huge difference. But like I said, we are pulling up to the first thrift store. So let's hope we get some nice things. Well, I only found two items at this store. We did find this color block and pull a Ralph Lauren little embroidered crew neck sweater. And then we just found this Mickey shirt. Nothing too crazy. Let's hit the next store though. Well, I found the expensive section now. So let's see, they want $40 for this Florida Panthers jersey. Uh, Robert Graham shirt, they want $30. Some dungaroos, let's see. Rother's burger, they want $30. Blunt, they want $35. Griffin, $25. George, $25. Hurricanes, $30. World Series champion, 2009. Yankees, uh, $60. Packers uh, 40 and then just like a Columbia titanium the nicest piece that I think is this Yankees but $60 is just way too expensive Look at this these boots are brand new with the tags from the store $40 right but they want $50 <laughs> that's what thrift stores are Brand new $40 in the store, but if you want them from a thrift store, they're $10 more than they would have cost you at the normal store. Man, this is such a tease. Imagine going on a rack and then like you're looking and that's all you see. You see some slight cracking, you're like, oh shit. But then of course, super fake, like not even questionable. I might grab it just for fun. I don't even know. And then the only thing else that I found is this Miami Hurricanes single suit shirt. Sadly, everything else is gone. You know, I will say there's some things that really demotivate me on making thrifting videos. And this is kind of the reason why I didn't make it during quarantine because you have local thrifters and a like more power to them. They're awesome, whatever. It's cool. They can resell all they want. But what they do is they watch the videos, see what I buy. And then when they're at thrift stores, they're buying the stuff that I would normally buy because obviously I, I buy to resell so they can know literally nothing about the item or not even sell uh, men's stuff per se like maybe they sell women's stuff or maybe they sell shoes and not clothes just giving like example but they start buying stuff that I would buy because they're watching my videos so it's like I'm kind of fucking myself over because all these people are watching the stuff that I buy and then when they're in the thrift stores they're like oh well Emilio bought this and he's reselling it so let me buy it and you know give a chance so it's like damn I'm fucking myself over by showing everyone the stuff I buy and then when I go to the thrift stores there's nothing there because the people that have watched my videos bought the stuff before me so I guess what I just have to do is I just have to get there early um, I got there two hours after the thrift store opened so it's 100% my fault you know early bird gets the worm but it does make me not want to make videos showing the stuff I buy just because I'm not trying to like, you know, I'm not trying to have people get the stuff I buy. If they didn't know to buy that before, they shouldn't know to buy that now, you know, but that's just how I think. But, um, 
sadly today was just kind of shitty thrifting day now i'm gonna head to costco i'm gonna get some things like i said then i have to go to target i am gonna check the off-white sunglasses actually you know what let's go check the off-white sunglasses first and then we'll go to costco and then do all that stuff so let's see if these off-white sunglasses are here these off-white sunglasses um i've wanted for a while now probably a few weeks i tried them on in the black pair um for a video actually a designer shopping and then I went the next day, they were sold, and then I went online and they were sold out. So they have a brown one. I don't really like the brown one. My friend thinks that the brown ones aren't gonna look good on me. Uh, they're like, just get the black ones, like just get the black ones the black ones, but the black ones I can't find. So I'm gonna go see if they have the brown ones and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like and decide if I wanna get them or not. Uh, they're $330, so I don't need to spend $350. I just bought another gun, which I'll probably include in this footage later on. Uh, of me going to buy that gun, but I just bought a gun for $500 the other day, so it's like, I'm spending way too much money. I'm going to Colorado, I'm gonna spend probably $2,000 in Colorado, like, I, I just gotta, I gotta watch my finances. So, like I said, let's go check on these off-white glasses, let's try them out and see if they're actually worth the money. Well, I just made it to the store, and basically what I'm at is at the Ball Harbor Shops in Miami, it's like, the snobby, rich, 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 like everything is very expensive at this store. They don't have like normal actual mall stores, but the sunglasses are at Saks, which is right there. So let's see if uh, they still have them in stock. So these are the off-white glasses. So if you could tell this ones are like the rectangle style, has a little on the white. And then these are the ones I was originally looking at. Now, these I've tried on and everything, but these were a black. And now this is the brown version that I was telling you guys. It has a light blue. It has off-white, like, all over. So I'm going to see. Sadly, they don't have... Oh, what is that? Sadly, they don't have the black version of that. Otherwise, I would have got that. These Gucci's. These are nice, too. These Gucci's. So I don't like these at all, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. These are the rectangle ones. Now let me show you guys what the actual ones that I'm looking at look like on. You can't even really tell that they're brown. I think I might end up grabbing them. I don't know if I can just return them, I feel like, too. But they're super unique, super different. Full Balenciaga collection. I showed you guys this at the Nordstrom, like the soccer edition. Super sick though. Balenciaga little jacket. We've seen these all over print. Is this a Miri? Yeah, a Miri. I remember these jeans used to be so hyped. Now I don't know. Not many people I hear talk about them. Fendi. This Burberry hoodie is pretty sick, even though it's just a star. Heron Preston. Usually we never see a full collection of Heron Preston. Oh, this is a collab with Levi's. Put the Levi's little patch there. white t-shirt. It's like the only one it seems like. Some rude. Love the wash on this shirt. Oh, I didn't even realize the long sleeve. Pretty cool print. They have a cream one and then the rude hoodie. Very nice. Nice wash on it too. How much is it though? 613. They have some rude pants. like track jacket look how sick these are Amiri's obviously they're copying like the vans with especially with the checkers like they're really copying with that and it even says Amiri California which is like vans California 595 though I don't know how I feel about it it's like canvas material they also have like this with like the palms this is 550 but I do like this I wish they would have made a black colorway if they made a black colorway pff, game over Look at these off-white sneakers too. I swear they're getting crazy and crazier with all the off-whites. These high tops. I think I'm just gonna leave with the glasses. 
Yeah. This is one thing I've never seen before, the mix of the red and black. Just craziness. If you look, all these sneakers are basically like the same style. So we have like the track runners, you have the socks, and then like, again, track runners. These remind me of soccer shoes, like indoor soccer cleats. But look, it's like all chunky shoes, all sneakers. It's like they're all the designers are basically copying themselves. Oh, look at these. That'd be cool for Colorado. Oh my God, they're steel-toed though. That's crazy. Steel-toed Balenciaga boots. Pretty insane. These are absolutely hideous. And I can already tell people in South Beach have been wearing these, but yo, horrible. I'd rather rock these. Well, mission accomplished. I ended up getting the glasses. And it's an early birthday present for me. Uh, like I said, I've been wanting these sunglasses for two weeks now. I wanted the all black ones, they sold out. They have these brown ones, and the brown ones, you can't even really tell they're brown. They almost look black, and I feel like they have a little bit more detail, so I'm almost happy with it. Um, now let's run to Costco. I do have to get the dog some food, so let me go do that. Well, I currently took a little lunch break. I came to Tijuana Flats, got a chicken quesadilla. Queso, they have one of the best quesos. Well, it is beautiful Monday afternoon. It's about 1.30 or so. Just got a call from the gun store. They just received my new gun. Uh, it's nothing special. If you guys have been knowing me, you guys know I am very pro-gun. I've been collecting for six years now. Um, I, I carry every single day. Uh, I just, they're just, I don't know, I just always like guns. So I did buy a new one. I am gonna show you guys it. Um, I do have my concealed weapon, so basically all I have to do is go there, fill out a background check, it takes about 10 minutes, then I can leave with it. So we're gonna head to the gun shop, pick that up. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna shoot it today. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go to the range, but I do wanna go pick that up just to show you guys, secure it, take it home. So uh, let's go pick up the new gun. Look at the Tiffany color, the Robin's egg of the Glock. Shield, same color. It's a nice MP right there with the light already attached to it. We also have a AR right there, looks sick. And this is the new one. M&P 15, chambered in 22 long rifle, and the Robin's egg. Comes with one mag. I have a more at home though. Well, I just made it back home, and I want to show you guys the items that I did pick up today. Obviously, you guys saw, uh, you know, I got the glasses, I got the gun, but I actually picked up a thing that I didn't record off camera. I got a new camera, and no, it's not the one I'm recording. It's kind of my photography camera. Um, I've had this camera before when I used to do photos and videos at uh, the, the nightclubs in South Beach. I've had this camera before. I'm used to the setup. I love it. It takes amazing pictures. It is kind of old school. A lot of people are going mirrorless. This isn't a mirrorless camera, but I did pick it up as like an early birthday present. Obviously, I am going to be celebrating my birthday in Colorado. Uh, so first, I want to show you guys the glasses because you couldn't, I don't know if you guys could really tell uh, the detail on it when I was inside the store, but let me show you guys. Okay, so this is a brown tortoise shell. The arrow is a light blue colorway. It's not white. And then all over the glasses, they have the off-white logo. Super sick, really thick. They remind me of the Louis Vuitton Millionaires. Um, supposedly that's what gave it inspiration. I think they look super sick. You can't even really tell that they're black. They almost look, or you can't even tell that they're brown. See, I, I thought that they were black. You can't really even tell that they're brown. Uh, they almost look black on camera, and, and I feel like the only time you would really tell it's brown is in the sun, like if it's like really baking down. But I feel like the light blue uh, really, you know, makes it pop versus just the normal white, and especially since it says off-white all over the sunglasses, I feel like this is the perfect little birthday purchase. So this was the pickup. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of hyped. I've been talking about these sunglasses for probably over a month now. Um, I bought them on Nordstrom on the website and then they refunded me in two days because I guess they sold more than they actually had in stock. So I was like super bummed hurt. And then I couldn't find the black ones. I can only find these. And then these just kind of worked out. So these are the new shades. You're gonna be seeing me rocking in the videos. Um, Off-white, the Virgil style sunglasses. Uh, I went from the Versace to these. The Versace's I've had for five years so I'm hoping that these will last me a long time. Let's move on to the next purchase. So as I stated, 
Oh. I am going to Colorado, so unfortunately I do not have the new gun that I just purchased. Basically, I take all my valuables, all my firearms, and I move them out of my house, and I bring them to my mom's house just when I'm ever I'm out of town for obvious reasons. Uh, there's basically nothing in my house at the moment. Like, it's just like dead. I take out all the valuables just for precaution's sake, so I don't have the gun to show you, but I will do a follow-up on that in another video. I'll show you guys. Uh, more to it. Obviously you guys saw it, it is an M&P AR-15 chambered in 22 long rifle. Basically I was tired of bringing my 223-556 uh, to, the, to the gun range. It's just too expensive to shoot. So I wanted an AR style pistol that you know I, I could shoot all day and wouldn't hurt my bank. So I figured you know what let's get this 22. It's in the Robin's Egg which is like the limited edition colorway. It's almost like the Tiffany blue so I figured it was perfect. It's just so fire. It's a little extra birthday peasant. So now moving on to the camera. Like I said I did film this off. Like I, I didn't film this but I did pick up my new photography cam and this is a Canon 5D Mark III. Like I said, I have had this camera. It's been out for a while. They have a Mark IV, but honestly, the price from the Mark III and the Mark IV, it's just, it doesn't make sense. And then I also did pick up this 24 to 105 L lens. Now this is the Series 2. And basically this setup, uh, brand new, this 5D is probably about 3,500 and this lens is about a thousand. So this camera by itself is about four grand. I'm bringing it to Colorado. I'm gonna get amazing shots. And then what's funny is the guy that I bought the camera, cause I bought the guy, I bought two separate people. I bought the body from someone else and the lens from somebody else. The guy that I bought the body from gave me a filter and the filter just happened to fit on the new lens that I picked up. So this is a high density filter. It's basically almost like a UV filter, blocks out some of the light uh, without changing the colors. So that is my new photography rig. Uh, I'm bringing also a 50 1.8 and basically that's it. So those were my little pre-birthday pickups. I am gonna continue the shopping in Colorado. Uh, Black Friday is happening so I think we're actually gonna be going shopping in Denver. Uh, during Black Friday, but you guys will see I'm gonna be making videos every single day there So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm excited. You guys know how much I love Colorado So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video and don't forget guys. Let's get it